Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing great today. In this video, we're going to walk through how to use the NACE First Destination Survey or FDS template. It's a fantastic tool that helps schools collect and report data on their graduates' outcomes, and it's really essential for tracking what graduates are up to after they leave school. So let's dive right in by navigating to the template on the NACE website. Once you are on the NACE website, you'll want to head over to the Research tab and select First Destination Survey. Then, from the menu on the left side, click on Data Collection 2024. You'll see a tab that says Download Class of 2024 Survey Template. Go ahead and click that to get started. Alternatively, you can find the template on the Standards and Protocols page. Just go to the First Destination Survey page, and on the left, select Standards and Protocols. Once you're there, you'll see the class of 2024 survey template along with examples and tutorials that can guide you through the process. In this video, we'll walk through the blank survey template. If you're looking for detailed guidance on how to complete the survey, be sure to check out the other video on our website where we use a sample of a completed survey for reference. Once you've downloaded the class of 2024 survey template, open it up and let's go through it together. This template is designed to simplify data collection and make everything organized for analysis. When you open it, you'll notice a few tabs, and I'm going to walk you through them. The Instructions tab gives you the essential details, such as the sheets you'll be working with, the submission deadline, and how to submit the survey. There's also contact info for the NACE Research Department if you have any questions. One important note, the template has been updated for 2024 and starting in 2025 older versions won't be accepted. So make sure you're using the most current one. Next is the definitions tab, which explains all the data you'll be collecting. These definitions match up with the columns in the other sheets. Then we have the CIP codes tab. CIP stands for Classification of Instructional Programs and these codes correspond to different fields of study and program completions at the post-secondary level. After CIP codes, you'll find the summary tabs for associates, bachelors, masters, and doctoral degrees. In these tabs, you'll input key information about your graduates, both overall and by demographic category. This includes institutional details, employment data, and salary and bonus figures. Finally, we have the program data tabs. Here, you'll enter the same details as in the summary tabs, but broken down by academic program. Once you've finished entering your data, you'll need to submit the template. Just email your file to research at naceweb.org, and in the subject line, write something like NACE First Destination Survey, data from your school name. Don't forget to submit your data before the deadline. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this overview has boosted your confidence in using the FDS template and reporting your graduate outcomes. For a detailed guide on how to fill out each of the tabs we covered, be sure to check out the completed sample template walkthrough available on our website. We look forward to receiving your data and collaborating to enhance the way we track and report graduate outcomes. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to the NACE research team at research at naceweb.org or give us a call at 610-625-1025.